Irish whiskey is the fastest growing whiskey category in America. And they're going to sell a whole lot more of it this Sunday for St. Patrick's Day. Here to talk about Irish whiskey and his whiskey, Tullamore Dew, is Casper McRae from William Grant & Sons. Welcome, Casper. Thank you very much. Tell me, why is Irish whiskey so popular in the U.S. right now? Uh, it's, a, it's the fastest growing category in whiskey. So it's growing at the moment about 26% per year. Uh, to put in the context, though, of the four major types of whiskey, American, Scottish, and Canadian, uh, Irish whiskey is currently the smallest segment. Uh, it's the fastest growing. Uh, we think the potential for it is huge. So before prohibition, back before the law was changed, Irish whiskey was actually America's favorite type of whiskey. Uh, and so going forward, we think it's something that's got a lot of potential to grow. And Irish whiskey has an E, right? Yes, that's, that's the most important thing correct. to remember. Now, how does Tullamore do your product compare with, say, Jameson's? Uh, well, they're all uh, excellent quality products. So Jameson's, Bushmills are, are phenomenal products. Uh, what we really like about Tullamore Dew is it's quite unique within the Irish whiskey category. Like most Irish whiskies, it's triple distilled, and that triple distilled effect means it's soft, fruity, accessible, one of the reasons why it's so popular at the moment. But one of the things that makes Tullamore Dew unique is it's a triple blend, and that's the only one of the major whiskies. That means that we use not only uh, pot still, which is quite rare, but also grain whiskey and malt whiskey for more complex whiskey. And how do you market it? Clearly, Tullamore Dew has been around for uh, two centuries. Yes. But how do you market in the 21st century? Well, the 21st century, actually, we do have a new advertising campaign which talks about Irish true, which is to celebrate the more authentic, rebellious, poetical nature of the Irish. But on top of that, what we're really concentrating on is grassroots marketing. Uh, so we've employed five ambassadors from Ireland to come over and work under our head ambassador, Tim Hearley. Uh, and out there, we're engaging the influencers. So we engage the bartenders, we engage uh, leading consumers, talking to them about our product and the, the product credentials as well. So we're looking to get grassroots support for this brand as well. And you're going to have a lot of people drinking it this weekend for St. Patrick's Day. Any great promotions this weekend? It's an enormous celebration of Irishness uh, and the joy of being Irish. Uh, it's Everybody's unique, Irish this weekend. Every, every bar is also Irish this weekend. And, you know, one of the great things about it is that uh, Irish whiskey has this extra holiday that no one else has. So we will sell about 60% more in the month of March than we would do in a standard month. So it's a great time to be out and supporting uh, the, the brand. And we've got our brand ambassadors out in the streets, lots of bartender engagements, lots of bartender events, as well as we've been doing sponsorships in the run-up to this as well. And William Grant & Sons also distills Glenfiddich. Yes. Now, what's pronounced what are, correctly, by the way. Thank you. Now, but, but the Scots don't have a holiday, so how do you sell Glenfiddich? We do, we do have a holiday. We have St. Andrew's Day and we also have Burns Night, but we've always been traditionally a little bit more quiet about those than, than the Irish. Of course, uh, you know, Glenfiddich does do enormously well over the holiday period, uh, but uh, Glenfiddich is something we're finding that has got a very clearly identified occasion. Uh, and that celebratory occasion, maybe after dinner, is something that's very successful for Scotch and we think can be f successful for Irish whiskey as well. We need to promote St. Andrew's Day. <laughs> Get it as big as St. Patrick's Day. Thanks for coming on, Casper. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching The Street.